you know, obviously that one um, stings, um, especially the way that, that it ended. Um, you know, the, the, the message in there, um, really we didn't, uh, we spotted them 12 points to start the game. And yeah, I don't know. I mean, we, we've got to come out better um, and, and not get down like that. And then we really did compete um, and got, got ourselves back into the game, had the lead. Um, you know, I was proud of the execution, obviously. You know, our offense was pretty broken um, after that last game, I thought. And um, I thought that there were some big improvements today. Um, obviously, we still didn't make shots, but I thought we got good shots. I really did. I thought we got really good looks at the basket, um, and the three balls just didn't really go in. Um, but again, we've got it. It's not the last rebound. It's those. It's those before it. It's the. It's the the, the prayer shot at the three minute media or four minute media um, that they get the loose ball. It's you know keeping number thirty two off the glass. I mean, we just gotta do the little things um, um, to win ball games. Um, there was improvement, um, but again, we gotta be better. Um, just what did you see? Um, was it as simple as it? Connor missing a box shot in the final? No, we had five guys contest that shot. I mean, it, it, look, um, you know, number 13 is a leading scorer in the league. I mean, he's really crafty. Darius did a great job on him. Um, and, you know, we just contested. Again, you know, Paul, we're going to look at that one and, and shucks, you know, but at the same time, it's it's all the other ones before that. I mean, it really was. Yeah. It's all of them before that. And, and that, you know, I mean, Everything we we're talking about in timeouts, get a stop. The guys, you got to finish possession. You got to rebound. You got to hit. Um, we just didn't do that consistently, consistently enough. Ben, a loss like this, does this one just hurt more than kind of the blowout losses a little bit because it was right there? Yeah, I mean, it stinks for sure. I felt like going down the home stretch there, we, we were confident and it's kind of our game to lose, and we got to find ways to close out uh, games like that and. I mean, Coach said it. We we came out very very flat, you know, giving up 12 points like that. Uh, that can't happen, and that's uh, you know the start just kind of like, like we got to set a tone for a game like this. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, from then out, we we played them well, but we got to find ways to string together 40 minutes. Q, what's kind of going through your mind when you look up? It's 10 nothing, 12 nothing, and, and you know the game hasn't really started yet. Um, Coach said it. We just got to start out better, honestly. That's on all starts, that's on all starts, uh, on me, everybody else. Uh, we just gotta, you know, come ready to fight. I mean, we're ready to fight today and kind of, you know, put in our butt, so. Matt, you made some offensive changes and, and ball flowed mm -hmm. 18, 19 assists. Ben had career high in assists. Just what what did you see that you liked from some of the ball movement, level back to our cuts you were doing, things like that? Well, you know, the, the objective really was trying to get Ben in better space. Um, and, you know, we were, Ben was really, I mean, it was, you can look at it on film, was getting double, sometimes triple team before he even has the basketball. Um, and so um, we want to try to get him into space, um, you know, get our guys cutting. Um, and, and I am proud of him. I mean, this was, the message really coming in after that last game was, okay guys, like, I know we just played a tough game. Um, we got two days to prepare for a good team. They have three days to prepare for us, um, but we've got to get better. And so that next day we practiced and we competed and we practiced hard um, and the guys did a great job. And, and then the next day, um, everything looked a little bit better. And so, um, you know, hats off to the guys, um, you know, just to be receptive in coaching um, and, you know, continue to try to get better. Um, but I'm not one, if, you know, if something looks broken to me, we're going to try to fix it. And, you know, the Valley schedule does make it difficult. I mean, you just don't get a lot of practice time, um, especially with some of the heavy minutes that our guys are playing, you know, it can get more difficult. Um, you know, I, would, I do want to shout out one guy. I mean, Darius was huge for us tonight. Um, I mean, he was, uh, I mean, boy, we missed him. You know, sometimes you don't really realize it until they're back, um, but we missed him. I mean, his energy and his defense was fantastic for us. Ben, just your, your thoughts on kind of how you were able to move a little bit differently the way the offense was set up tonight? Yeah. I mean, Coach said it, just getting me in different spots, uh, you know, where I can't get double, double or triple teamed, uh, you know, get getting different guys involved on backdoor cuts and, and different handoffs and stuff. I, I thought it was really a, a good adjustment. Q, just your thoughts on Maximus bringing some positive energy to you guys there, you know, get career high in points and kind of pull off for some rebounds there. Uh, I thought he played really good in the big minutes. Um, 
especially for a freshman, they responded pretty well. Uh, so that's that's what we need from all of our guys, just for them to play like that. Uh, I thought I was really proud of them. Um, so. And Matt, you went with Eber for a long time tonight in the semi. He just looked like he was doing a lot defensively. Yeah. What, what did he show you down the stretch of this game? Again, Paul started in practice. He's had two fantastic days of practice. Um, you know, the challenge for Eber has just been consistency with, with his energy. Um, and he's brought it the last couple days. Um, you know, he was he was huge in that stretch and getting stops. And I didn't, um, I mean, some of those blocks, it, it looked like some of those guys didn't even know he was there um, and he's blocking. So we had, I'm looking at it right now, he had three block shots in 15 minutes and that's a pretty high rate. And, um, and then I think he changed a lot too, just late contests, closeouts, um, you know, he changed a lot of shots. So we're going to need him. I mean, we really are going to need him. Um, and, you know, his energy and athleticism can be um, a, a big thing for us. Ben, when you wake up tomorrow or you start moving away from this game, can you see progress from this? Does it does, does that happen at this point of the year when it's a fifth loss in conference? Yeah, I mean, for sure. Uh, it reminds me a lot of my, you know, freshman year having some struggles early and, you know, win a game, lose a game, win a game, lose a game. Um, you know, every every path is different, but, you know, it's going to matter, like, matters how we're going to perform in March. Um, so it's all about building. So, and I think we're in a good position to build. Uh, we've got a good group of committed guys who are willing to come in every day and practice. So I'm, I'm still very, very confident in this group.